Hey guys, it's Devin and Chris, and, and we're Sip Saver and Celebrate. And welcome back to another Whiskey Wednesday. But this one, we're going to do a best friend's wine with a twist. We use one of our other best friends, Dave. You've seen him before. To he pour them, poured us three arbitrary whiskeys, and we've got to rate them from best to worst, and pretty easy. But while we do that. Can you do us a favor? Hit that subscribe button. Don't forget the notification bell so you can see every time we post something. If you'd like to help us out on the channel, we have two different ways. You can hit that donate button or you can become one of the members. We do have members only content that we film from time to time. But most of the times what we're doing is we're actually posting these videos one or two days before it's actually due. But number one, we're going to get into the, the nosing. Grade it by the nose, and then we're going to grade it by the taste. And you know what? I've got to talk about our sponsor real quick, the Neat Glass Company. As you can see, I've got the footed glass. Chris has the unfooted glass. But we absolutely love everything they do for us and what they bring in terms of being able to smell what's in the glass. They're backed by science. The best place to smell is the center of the nose. And you're not getting the ethanol, the anesthesia that, you know, stops everything from being able to be smelled. You can head over to theneatglass.com and get your set of glasses, any one you choose, 15% off using our promo code. S-S-C-N-E-A-T. All right, here what we go. What are you thinking? I'm thinking this one was pretty easy on the nose. This one I'm going to rate number three, number two, and this one's got the best nose out of all of them. I'm going to, this one's nice. I can't argue. <laughs> this one's got some nice butterscotches and vanillas. Beautiful barrel nose. So, so for the record, y'all, we are, we are matching nose for nose. <laughs> this one is, this one's opening up now. At first it was more, more Jack Daniels like, but it's starting to open up, open up a little more. You get the light barrel. There's some but light honey coming yeah, out. Lighter um, than that one. This one is just straight up rubbing alcohol. <laughs> it is definitely just alcohol, yes. Yeah. Well, that's my way. I'm, let's go into the taste, but let's get into it. <laughs> Salute. Because I'm slightly out of frame. Sorry, I set up the camera wrong, y'all. better than the nose <laughs> but it's still just like a whiskey hmm. okay so this one is hitting like Christmas in a glass for me like cinnamon <laughs> and like pine trees dancing in the background number two no one oh, one okay well three one. Which one's one? Tell me. We got dark, light, and white. <laughs> yeah, which one are we calling one? To your oh. left? Okay. okay. For this episode, the number one is left. <laughs> it's more bolder. <laughs> that one went down the wrong tube. But... What I'm also kind of missing. This one's bolder on the it's flavors. Kinda like but it's kind of like the whiskey itself. More... Like, I'm getting the cinnamons and everything, but I'm missing, like, the actual build. Yeah, it's pretty. To me, it's pretty hot. Um, I'm still getting the vanillas, the barrel notes, but it's a little more spicier than the rest. Um, <laughs> Three minutes, and then we are going to have the bottles delivered to us. Mm, that's good. I'm I loving still... number two. That that nose is light, but butterscotch, and and you're getting some of the corn in there. This is this is not. I'm not getting hardly anything. It's almost like water, but it's still a whiskey, and I get it. The nose is not the greatest. Okay. And 
in comparison to what we are used to, I do get that this is essentially a whiskey crystallino. You know what? I'm going to mix this up. I'm going to go last, first, middle. That's where I'm going with it, with the taste. Nose was number one on this. But this is what I'm going to do. All right. What is yours? <laughs> I'm going to match that. So I really like the butterscotches and everything with this. Um, this one, the cinnamons were great, but I thought it was kind of a one-trick pony, and the whiskeys were actually lost to me in them. All and right. then this one, this one I know what it is. This is the White Owl from yeah. Canada. Yep. Um, which, in comparison to what we're talking about, you know, Canada, crystallinos and filtered stuff is never going to work. <laughs> All right, Dave. All right. Help us out. What's what? You nailed it on the White Owl. Um, this is the lighter one, Widow Jane. Widow okay, Jane. the Widow Jane Tinier. And this is the one you guys love. We love the nose on it, Woodford. I did love the nose, but I came out number one with Widow Jane. I agree. The Widow Jane was, was yep. number one. And and the reason for us was, well, for me, is as we were talking, is that beautiful cinnamons and everything, but I the lose nose. the whiskey. I lose, like, what makes it, you know? Um, and so that's where I was struggling, where the Widow Jane, it was just beautiful and opened up into beautiful honeys and the yep. sweetness of the corn and, it did. you know, it, it a little up. bit of rye. Fantastic, really well-bodied spirit. Opened up very, very good. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I do like Widow Jane, so I'm not mad. And the Woodford 124 is good, but next to Widow Jane, I think Widow Jane is going to take it every day for me. And well, that's what I think. Hey, you guys are amazing. Help us get to a thousand followers. That's December thirtieth. Right. We got a thousand, he's getting an ice bath. We are and we're recording it for you guys. <laughs> All right guys, thanks for tuning in. Always remember to sip, savor, and <laughs> celebrate, celebrate guys. Salute. Salute.